burdock. It is well known, even by the little boys who pull off burrs to throw and stick upon each other, that I shall spare to write any description of it. This is the root of burdock. It grows plentiful by the ditches and watersides and by the highways and almost everywhere through this land, found in fields and wasteland and roadsides, native throughout Europe, Asia, and naturalized in North America. Venus challenges this herb for her own, and by its leaf or seed you may draw the womb which way you please, either upwards or applying to the crown of the head, in case it falls out or downwards in fits of the mother by applying it to the soles of the feet. Burdock root. Burdock. Arctium lapa. It is so well known, even by the little boys, who pull off the burrs to throw and stick upon each other, that I shall spare to write any description of it. Culpepper's Complete Herbal. The burdock leaves are cooling, moderately drying and discussing with all, whereby it is good for old ulcers, And source. The juice of the leaves, or rather the roots themselves, given to drink with old wine, doth wonderfully help the biting of any serpents. The juice of the leaves being drank with honey provoke urine and remedies and pain of the bladder. The seed being drank in the wine forty days doth wonderfully to help the sciatica. The leaves brushed, bruised, sorry, with the white of an egg and applied to any place burnt with fire, takes out the fire and gives sudden ease, and it heals it up afterwards. The roots may be preserved with sugar and taken fasting or at other times for the same purpose, and for consumptions, the stone and the lask. The seed is much command, commended to break the stone and cause it to be expelled by urine, and it is often used with other seeds and things of that purpose. Dried burdock roots are used in Western herbal traditions for gastrointestinal ailments, gout, arthritis, and as a blood purifier to help clear skin conditions. Burdock is considered a diuretic, an anti-diabetic, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and antimicrobial. It is commonly grown in Japanese and Korean vegetable gardens for the edible roots. The leaves are used similarly to the root and when, are, when young are used in salads. In traditional Chinese medicine, the seeds are used to relieve sore throat and reduce swelling, among many other uses. Burdock is a wonderful plant and I have found the leaves have a special affinity for the kidneys and the root, a special affinity for the liver. One of the best purifying herbs that I know and in my top 10 list of most needed herbs for you, for me. And the root is itself delicious, nutritious, and can be cooked in meals and dishes like any other root vegetable. So I hope you enjoyed this little sharing here, Nicholas Culpepper's book, The Modern Herbal, A Complete Herbal, not The Modern Herbal, A Complete Herbal, and Burdock.